Hey, what's going on with the microphone? I don't know. What are do you? Do you hear doing? that? Yeah, I do. So yesterday there was a spirit in my house. Oh no. And um it was touching me last night when I touched brushed my teeth. And this morning when I woke up, like somebody moved the bed. Like if it was oh. Lulu. Like if it was Lulu trying to like say it's time to get up. So she will like move my bed. Uh-huh. But then I felt something touch my foot. Uh. So last night they put their hand on my shoulder right here. Eek. So I don't know what it was. Oh, no. If it is a spirit, come back and start doing the ticking. No, answers. don't do it anymore. But it'll go away after I ask it to go away. Hmm. So can you come back and do the ticking noises on the microphone? Mm. Okay, good. Then go away. <laughs> Okay. I I like oh, watch Michael's here. Okay. Okay, I can hear you. Can you hear Yay. me? Yay! Hi, Michael. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. This is our first episode. Okay, here are all the first. The first episode that's like a comedy centric episode. Great. The other two were like spiritual stuff. Mm -hmm. And then also you're the first guest that is a boy. Oh. So welcome. There's Look a boy on the I podcast. Breaking new ground. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Um, so this is the episode where we're going to be talking about iPhones. Oh, yay. Yay. Okay, well. So okay. I'm an Android user. No, really? I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted it to be comedy center. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna joke around a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's what, that's what I want to hear. Great. Um, so. Everybody, welcome to Mind Probe with Mom. I am your host, Amber Jean, and I'm joined by my mommy, and her name is Star Rhodes. Hello. And um, this is my mom's most dreaded episode. She is really... <laughs> As soon as we came on, she's like, um, what did you say? You're like, uh, like I already she's have anxiety. Already, yeah. <laughs> she's already stressed out about it. But what what all of my questions are just silly stuff. So if you're here to actually learn about iPhones, maybe you'll learn something, but maybe you won't learn anything at all. Who knows? Um and so our special guest today is Michael Ornelas. Is that how you say your last that name? That is how I say my last name. Oh, that's so perfect. It's always a shot in the dark of if someone's going to come even close to saying What do they correct. try to do? What's the normal thing they try to say? I mean, I, I get like Ornelius. I, 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 get, I get a lot of misreadings. I get like, I get Ornelius. I get letters. Cornelius. Uh, <laughs> My my middle school football coach once wrote me a hall pass that was Aurelius, but like only three of the letters were correct. Ouroboros. Like the R, the L, and the S. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Ouroboros, I'm just a snake eating my own tail. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so welcome to the podcast. Um, so yeah, you're going to teach us about phones and my mom... Okay, so the reason why we even thought of this podcast episode was it wasn't my idea. It was a suggestion from one of our fans. Oh. Ooh, I asked. Hiss. <laughs> no, we don't are, want to are, bone his our sorry, fans, Mom. Are you, are you hissing just the concept of having fans? The concept. Like, I don't want any audience. <laughs> no. The suggestion. No, it's yeah. a funny suggestion. I asked, I asked our fans... I said, what is one thing that you wish you could teach your mom and force them 
to sit down for an hour and teach them something. And somebody said how to use an iPhone. And I thought that was so funny because I can definitely relate. My mom. I, I got, uh, uh, my mom yelled at me. This was like high yes. school or, or like early college. <laughs> I was, I was at home. My mom yelled at me to come downstairs, uh, cause she was struggling on a computer and she was like, is there a way to like take this wall of text and copy it and then like put it like she thought copy she paste? had the idea for copy paste. <laughs> and then when I was like, yeah, you hit the button that says copy. <laughs> and she felt so embarrassed that she uh -huh. lashed out at me. Oh, no. <laughs> Not physically, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, she had a whip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, those were the days, eh? Yeah. My yeah. mom has a lot of things that she's confused about with her phone, which is why I thought this was such a funny idea because she is constantly always complaining about her iPhone mm -hmm. and complaining about how when she had a Samsung that she was so much happier then. Uh, and, but when she had a Samsung, she was complaining nonstop about it. So I think she just, <laughs> I think she's just no matter what, is just the type of person to be upset about phones. I think just spirits just go in my phone and they just take over. <laughs> I think so too. So mom, tell us what you are most confused about with your phone usage. About texts and misspelling. Yeah. Why okay. it doesn't want to correct me automatically. And if it does correct me, it's some stupid word that does not even make sense <laughs> in the sentence. Like, no, I didn't type duck. Why mm -hmm. is duck the solution? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why is it doing that? So now we're getting to like the philosophical side of, mm -hmm. of iPhones. Uh, it learns you as much as this sounds like I'm saying you're the problem. It does learn your behavior and your common words. And the more that you correct or I guess let something slide, it will pick up on, oh, well, that's how she talks or whatever. <laughs> that said, it does take some wild swings. Um, there actually is. OK, let's see if as I am the resident iPhone yes. expert, apparently. Oh, I didn't even introduce you. Yes, oh, everybody, yeah, yeah. this is Michael. He's a regular dude who just knows how to use his phone. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. that makes him an expert in comparison to my to mom. To a parent, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if you, uh, this isn't going to totally answer your phone, but or answer your question, but it will maybe help you. So if you go into your settings app, okay. Do you have Got any it. do you have any specific words that you are <laughs> frustrated that it keeps misspelling that you use a lot? No. Let it's me there. even let me oh. go through some texts uh between me and my mom and I'll the first time that I see a misspelled word, I'll let you know. Uh okay, first misspelling. I didn't have to scroll very far. There is a space and then a period. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not, a, not as <laughs> grievous of an error, but. Um... Uh, the next thing is she misspelled podcast. If she split mm. it into two different words. Oh, but that was me. You did yeah, that on purpose? But then yeah. why didn't it correct it there? That is fair. Mm -hmm. And then the next one is the text right above that. And she misspelled the word don't. There's not an apostroph apostrophe. Uh, I didn't put the apostrophe because I'm too lazy. So it corrected me. It should. Yeah, it should add an apostrophe. Right? It should add an apostrophe. All right. So I, I guess we'll do this little exercise. So you're mm -hmm. in settings on your phone, right? Yeah. Scroll down to where it says general. This is at the top of the third grouping. Oh, yeah. I'm going to follow along. All right, and now in the little fourth grouping there, the second option says keyboard. Okay. Click on that. But that next little thing down, it says text replacement. So here, if you want, you can hit that little plus button in the top right corner, mm -hmm. and then you can write don't. 
So write D O N <laughs> and put the apostrophe. You gotta in. put that apostrophe in there. So now you're always gonna spell it properly. And and then below that, oh, for it shortcut, put two T's <laughs> all by itself. Regardless and then, of, <laughs> and then put the apostrophe after the first T. So in this specific situation, <laughs> you have to wrest control away from it. No matter what it does, you got to you got to assert dominance. So you're going to have to actually make sure it is 100% right. D O N right. apostrophe T. And, and then where it says shortcut, write D O N T without the apostrophe. Oh. Okay. Save. And now and now you're going to hit save. So now Whenever you type in D O N T, it will always automatically add the apostrophe. There's no question about it. That said, I don't know if it will, <laughs> it might always make it lowercase from now on. If you start a sentence, oh with no. Phone, so I think you can manually go in and do it with capitalization as well. But well, if there are certain yeah. words that you realize, like <laughs> one of one of my uh, shortcuts that I have in here, uh, bleep, bleep this. My email address is cop. Mm -hmm. And I have it that when I type in Michael B, it automatically fills in the rest because there mm -hmm. is nothing else that I am typing in the word Michael B for <laughs> other than yeah. my own email address. So now uh -huh. I can start that and I automatically get my email address. And mine, I did a very cool thing. So I'm an astrologer and I like to use the symbols for astrology all the time. Uh. And so if I start to spell um like if i'm about if i'm writing capricorn i could just write cap and then my automatic text replacement will add the symbol for capricorn i find that interesting because you are wearing a a, a cap oh! on your head and if you say i'm wearing a cap you should make it c-a-p-r and then the abbreviation <laughs> for capricorn because you're much less likely i've never used the word cap other than Capricorn, you're not. Now you're, you're not learning a, a little bit about me. Yeah. Hey, did we want? Do you know your your big three, Michael? No, I mean oh. I know I'm a Libra, but I I sent you the date and time. You did. Of... <gasps> I didn't get it. Okay, let's stay back on track here, folks, because <laughs> you're gonna lose me. <laughs> okay. Um. So basically, right now, if there's anything that would make your life easier, I don't know how often you type out your address. But like I have it to fill in. If I just type in 718, it'll then fill in my entire address. So it's real easy if someone's like, what's your address? You can literally just write the three numbers or four numbers or whatever, however many digits are in it Very and smart. get your full address already written. Mm. Tell us um, your full address. Uh, I'll, 718. I promise so, to edit it. <laughs> yeah, I trust you. <laughs> I trust anyone who's actively trying to disguise themselves <laughs> with a silly hat and a mole that's hovering around by her eye. You know, but I actually not... have a mole right here, though. But this one is, like, not anchored to your face. It's definitely <laughs> migrating. It's, it's that like one of the Kardashians' mole. Yeah. Ooh. She changes hers all the time. Chloe Kardashian. Hmm, I didn't know about that. <clears throat> I I do not keep up with the Kardashians. Uh, <laughs> I'm learning. Okay, so this is our first practice of like doing a silly topic, right? Sure. And I'm in the moment and I'm like, oh my gosh, like how do we do a whole episode about <laughs> I mean, I can keep going. I yeah. I did I did watch half of a YouTube video oh, that are yeah. tips and tricks for how to master the calendar. Wow. App. Oh I'm my God, thank I got you. I got four minutes in. I am not any more of a master than I was I going know. in, but I know I found one thing that I was like, "That's neat." Oh, okay. Tell us what to do. Are we starting from the ground up, or am I jumping into the like the cool tips? Okay, I'm still here on this page, and uh, we are in the keyboard section. My oh, yeah, auto, yeah. my auto correction is off. Your auto correction is off. Well, you then should that's... probably turn that on. Oh my god! So have you been complaining about it this whole time? And you just didn't turn it on. Well, because I turned it off a while back ago because it said <laughs> it was 
auto-correcting me stupidly. Mm. This is my favorite development that could have happened. Um, but this how is about, a shocking twist. How about all this other stuff? Uh, check spelling. It never checks my spelling and it's always on. Hmm. Um, do you guys remember the razor phone? They always looked real cool. I never had one, but so they were very sleek. Yeah, so sleek and sharp. Did you have and... the pink one? Oh, what color did I it have? Was like, they, they had like a, pink like a magenta, one. yeah, like a yeah. purpley pinkish color. I think that was that but was I, the good one. There might have been the a brown one, or maybe that yeah. was a different phone that I had. No, I, don't I think it was brown and color. pink were the options. Um, but I loved flipping my phone, and now I think they're oh, like just clicking it open and shutting it and just being like. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think I think that was like a cool a cool moment for me. Um just having a flip phone. <laughs> but I don't want one now. I but I really enjoyed it at the time because it was such a it was such a fresh, hot, new it, cool thing. It really lets you make a meal out of just answering a call, just like talk to me, and you like flip yeah. it open. Yeah, and then yeah. remember all the great ringtones we used to have, and now we just everybody I, just has the same dumb ringtone. What's oh, up I, with that? I've I've got spicy ringtones. Let me hear it. I. <laughs> what is it? I didn't realize. Mean... I didn't realize I'm going to be like showing you my ringtone. <laughs> Well, no, because there, there was there was a website for a while called uh, Audico, like like audio, but with a K before the O. And back in college, I would literally upload songs to it. And then you can kind of drag like a slider to like the segment of the song that you really want to turn into a ringtone. And you can make it shorter or longer and you can do like a crossfade. So I had some pretty good looping ringtones that I like made out of like songs from video games or like different things that I was like, they're you not like selling this. your own little songs yeah. and stuff? Yeah. So uh, yeah, and it gave me like the... on top. So once you did that, once you were like, yeah, it's out there in the it. world. What, like, what kind of high do you get from like, like what's the, what's the end result for you? He's frozen. My my internet is terrible. That's all right. Okay, I'm back. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay, so you didn't hear anything I just said? No, not at all. <laughs> oh man. I thought you were just totally stumped <laughs> by my no, question. No, I I have I have an awful internet connection that AT&T refuses to upgrade my speed. Oh no. I've literally had the same speed of internet since 2014 and uh -huh. in the course of 9 years doing stuff requires more speed so my my internet cuts yeah. out quite often uh, well here's here let me ask you this question but I am back. another time you can hear me yes okay so my question to you is what is the allure of of posting these beautiful ringtones out into the world like what is the satisfaction that you get it, because i don't understand i don't ever crave to put ringtones out into the world on a website uh, it was less, I wasn't really making them for other people. I mean, other people could access them, but it was more of like the songs that I'm like, what do I want to hear when oh. people call? And sometimes it's like you set it to an individual contact because you have an inside joke with them or uh -huh. something like that. So I guess that was the the allure. And also, if you upload and create your own ringtone, you don't have to pay the like 99 cents or a buck 29 oh. to like buy a song as your ringtone. So, well, I was thinking, I wasn't even thinking about you were doing it for yourself. I thought you were like, you're like, these people gotta have this song. No, and... no, no. no. <laughs> okay. it, it, it was, it was more selfish than that. I, I mm. wanted to hear the songs I wanted to hear. I just picture you back rang. when you used to do that. And I'm, and I'm imagining like early days of phones. Oh, and... I used to actually go to the websites and download those ringtones. <gasps> Maybe you're, you you're downloaded welcome. his work. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh, that's cool. It's and people it would... like me. Yeah, yeah, you make the world go round. <laughs> yeah, it would be like, of course, funny, ridiculous things, sure. you know? Oh, like most of mine were fart noises. Like the, <laughs> the vast majority <laughs> were just different tones Wait, and so timbre. you could still do it on your phone? Or do you have Apple song, Apple ringtones now on your phone? 
Uh, so if I make the ringtone, I have to do that thing that no one's needed to do since like 2017 at, and that sounds even late, where you hook a cord from your computer to your phone and then you open iTunes and you do a sync. So you have to like put the ringtones in through there mm. and sync them to your phone, which is just not a necessary thing anymore. And so uh, do you, did you do that though? Back in the day, yeah. So you still have it? All the ones that I used to make have transferred over every time I've upgraded my phone. So I still have the ones from like back then. I don't have a lot of like new ones, but. I also like the uh, voice recording messages. You know, Oh, like... like the ability to leave someone a voice recording? No, like if you <laughs> want. No, you know, like when somebody oh, text, calls your phone. Text messages? No, you know when somebody calls your phone voicemail? and it's a voicemail, yes. And it's like My mom something loves so voicemail. ridiculous. Like it, it's a, it'll say like. Oh, you like it when like their outgoing message is ridiculous? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should record one right now. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. And I'm going to dare you of what you have to say on it. Is this to me or to your mom? Because to my mom. Abs- okay, I was gonna say this absolutely needs to be to your mom. <laughs> uh, so you mean like an outgoing message that people hear? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Do you have one right now, or is it just like that, like lady uh, who's like you have reached and like just says the numbers of your phone number? Yeah, it's and just it's very me. impersonal. It's just me saying something responsible. No, let's not. Let's have it be fun. Like you could, Amber, you could change I it later, and um, I can't think of any on the spot. I need to be on the spot. Get your phone out <laughs> and go to yeah. the voice uh-huh. messages. Oh. All right, here's the dare. Here's the dare. Here's Whatever the you dare. change it to just keep it that way for five days if you can yeah. just whatever we record right now even if it's silly or <laughs> I long-winded i don't even know or... how to record it right oh now. don't you worry i'm the <laughs> iphone expert i will get you to this yep. place <laughs> okay all right so click your phone button your app for the phone, phone. click the voicemail in the bottom right voicemail. Uh-huh. and then see that button that says greeting in the top left corner oh uh, yeah You just click on that and it says default or custom. And boy, do you want a custom one. Oh, no. (laughs) Michael, what should we have her say? We got to come. Maybe you come up with the first sentence or the first thing. And then I'll come up with the next thing. I I mean, I want her to do what speaks to her on a on a personal, deep level. But but with a frog voice. But with a frog voice. (laughs) Yeah, I think that works. Whatever your whatever you <laughs> interpret a frog to sound like, leave just a normal verbiage voicemail. Don't address the elephant in the room. Don't mention that you sound like a frog, but just sound like a frog. All right. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So do so, I press record? Yes, because I don't want to mess up mine. I don't know if you press or have to hold it, but let's press it and tell me what happens uh there's a red button it's starting to record me okay great so that's now your outgoing message it's not a red button it's a red thing whatever that's called red oh like a line across yeah all right all so right. so hit record and then say what you want to say you know you've reached star roads and you know all, right, all in a frog voice i'm gonna hear you guys laughing so i won't <laughs> Okay. Ribbit, ribbit, croak, croak. Hello, this is Kermit the Frog. And I am not home right now. So please leave a message at the ribbit. Goodbye. Love love it. Hold on, I'll wait for her to get her headphones back in. Oh, I, I, I love I love it. It's a great first take. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna recommend doing it one more time. Uh, ah. but make people not think that they got a hold of Kermit and let them know it's you. Yeah, you have to take say ownership. That it's you. Mm-hmm. Take ownership over that you're the one choosing to do this really weird thing. 
Uh, really this is how I would it. sound if I was a frog. Uh, hello. That's what I would sound like. <laughs> you <laughs> sound like you sounded like a person who is no lie a thousand years old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't get accents. I don't know how. But give me a Spanish accent. It's not an it. accent. It's just lowering your voice into your throat. Ugh. Yeah, like that. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Okay, let me try. Uh, All right. <laughs> ah, that's not a frog's voice. <laughs> and I'm not home right now. I had a fly in my throat. <laughs> you reached the vet. Ribbit, ribbit. Come on. I'm totally crying. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Amber has a giggles because she already started like that today. When I was trying to put a green screen in the back here, and my eyes kept coming through the screen, oh. and she's like, you look like a Cheshire cat. <laughs> no need to re-record it. I don't know if I got frog from it, other than the choices of Ribbit Ribbit. <laughs> I, I think you sounded like a brothel owner who's been around. Let's like, just hear it. A yeah, let's while. hear it. Okay. Let me put the volume up. I don't even know if the volume really works on this because I don't know. That that three second pause between the first thing you say and the second thing you say felt like an eternity. <laughs> oh okay, God. I'll save it. The operation yeah, couldn't it. be completed. Com dot Apple mobile phone error. No. Fuck. Oh, no. I guess click OK and try again. And if it did, it just delete it. No, it's there. I could see it in red. Huh. Uh, I guess try saving it again and see if you keep getting the thing. Oh, now it's saving. Saving greetings. Oh, thank God. That okay. was about to be a tragedy. Too bad I didn't have that before my sister called because she just called at 415. So I can <laughs> call you back. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then just immediately send her to voicemail. Be like, hey, call me. And then just ignore her, so just to force her to listen to that. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. That really, that was the best laugh I've had in a really long time. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. Just call me. Yeah. How are you with the internet? Like Safari, uh, like the internet browser. Do you know your way around like searching stuff on your phone? Mm. Yeah, I don't I know. I think I have the gist of it but if you ask me what are all these apps about on here half, half of them i don't i say 75 percent of them i have no idea how to set my clock reminders how to put in a calendar date you don't know how to set your clock yeah <laughs> I don't That's know. A good how. catch. That was a good catch, Mike. It's just automatic, right? It's just automatic. It should be. Yeah. But I can I can show you how to manually change it if that's a thing you need if you want to no, live in a world need I'm just reading where your time what, isn't correct. I'm just reading. She what needs to know happen. about how to use calendars. That's what she needs to know how to do. I have been told. <laughs> yes, because yeah. well, so we started a podcast together and <clears throat> I keep sending her info and it would be great if I don't have to send it over and over. And if she could just mm. have it in her calendar the first time I send it. And then if she's like, I don't remember what time we said we were going to do the thing. She could just look at her calendar and then it would be there. Mm. Yeah. So. Mm. Amber Doesn't can AI send you... know how to just 
from my email, I open it and then say, hey, go there. So you have to be a little bit more active and kind of approve it to do that. But it is pretty close to that, where if she sends you a date and a time, you can click on it or hold down on it or whatever, and it'll bring up a menu and you can just say, create event. Mm. And then it'll just bring up a thing and it will it may ask you for a title. It may automatically fill it in, depending on what Amber has affiliated it with. You know, she might say, hey, we have a meeting at this time. Mm -hmm. Like and I sent her the it. same Zoom link that I sent you and yeah. that Zoom link has the option to like save it to your calendar. Mm. Yeah. So you can, you can always just, usually it's just accept or you can just put it, uh, hold down on the date and time. It'll usually be underlined in the email and that means it's clickable. Mm -hmm. So if you click the actual date and time, you can then create an event out of it and it goes straight into your calendar. You can even then in the event on your calendar, go down to alert. And if you want like a reminder an hour before, it can kind of put off a little alarm or something like that. Um, how about when I keep getting a notification every week that I have an event that I don't even know I have an event to? <laughs> Is it because you've forgotten or because it's not a real event? I don't know. This is so vague. What are you I don't know. Every week I get an event reminder for one o'clock. And I'm like, I don't have anything going on today. <laughs> so what this might be is maybe a long time ago, you set an alert for one o'clock and you accidentally hit that you want it to be a weekly reminder. Oh, so how do I get rid of that? So go into your calendar. Yeah. Uh, and just go to uh, to where you're kind of at this view, uh, where it's like you see the whole month laid out, like a month. Uh, I have this view. So click on one of the months, oh. and it'll zoom you in. It doesn't matter which one. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this is all also of... helpful for me because I always get confused. I'm like, how do I get? Yeah. Anyways, yeah. go on. So any days that have a dot under it any of the numbers with a dot means you have an event on that day oh so okay. go ahead and just click on a day with a dot and oh, keep going until you find one that has that 1 p.m event i have so many events i've missed <laughs> okay did you find one with just like a vague 1 p.m event uh wait september 4th i have a no how about the sixth? A new event at one p.m. And you have no idea a what new it is. Event, no. So go ahead and click on that event. Yeah. Um. One hour before travel time. Interesting. Yeah. So, uh, you'll you'll click on it and. Oh, there's a delete. Should I delete it? Yes. So delete, and then I think it'll bring up delete this one or all future events. Did it? Does it say that? Yeah, it does. All future events. So if you don't, yeah. So it sounds like you set an alert for yourself one time and accidentally set it to <laughs> weekly. So okay. delete all future events, and now mm. you won't have this issue. Wow, you're a genius. I appreciate that on my so, mom's behalf. How come the dots are still showing up? There's no uh, th Those are different events. Oh. <laughs> November's got events going on. I didn't even know about Day of the Dead. That's, oh, some of those are just like some of yeah. It might remind you of someone's birthday or a holiday. So not every event is something you made or even a thing it'll send you an alert about. They're just like fun facts. Uh, okay. Got so it. I want to ask um, another <clears throat> question. Um, well, can he show us those little, um, can he show us his little sneaks and tricks things that he was talking oh, about? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot that um, you had those up Everybody your Everybody might like that. We've actually gone over most of them in talking about calendar. I will oh, show okay. you one that kind of blew my mind. Yeah, show us. Um, and it involves using an app that I never use, the Reminders app. I just, mm. I never really, 
that's not how I set reminders. Yeah, for I've typically. never used it because I was like, I'm just going to use calendars. But so this is wild. What do I do? It says something. enable out iCloud syncing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Do you want iCloud? <laughs> just, basically, do you want pay this to pay for it? You uh, you sometimes have to pay for more space, but I think mm, you have an iCloud now. for free. I just say not now. Okay. So go uh, open your calendar. Pick a day that has an event. <laughs> I don't know if this podcast is in your calendar currently as an event, but for me it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah. this is the cool thing that I, I just learned. If you hold down on the event, you can see that you can like drag it a little, right? Yeah. But you can also oh, do this. Wait, 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 wait. When I do it, I've got a different thing going on. Oh, wait, I'm, you can't even see. Wait. What's different with my screen? Where are you? Uh, so you have to click on the day. Oh. Um, Wait, the like, day. I'm I'm at this view. Oh. I'm at How this view. I'm at this view. I don't know where you are. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go, can go you, into... Michael, can you put your phone closer to the screen? I feel oh. like I... Oh, wait, what's this? Yes. Okay. It was this little button up here. This little, these three okay. lines. I clicked cool, cool. that. Okay. All right. So now hold on the event. Uh huh. And you can drag it around. And if you let go, it'll say propose a new time. And it'll basically automatically send an email to where you dragged uh -huh. it to be like, oh, I want it at this time or whatever. To the other people that are attached to it? It looks like it. Yeah do it, it to me and i'll see if it comes to me um okay propose a new time oh and then it brings up an email and then you send the email so oh hey that's very cool but that isn't the thing that i wanted to show oh Th this is a step beyond and it's kind of wild to me so if you hold down on the meeting and then exit the app you can't see, but I still have the event here. And what I, it, what's that for? And I can drag it to the reminders app. Oh. And it'll oh. make a reminder about the event. Okay, let me try that. But doesn't the calendar already oh. give an, a reminder? So it has alert options, but some people, it's just depending on how people like to get their alerts. Some people put their whole lives into their reminders app. Oh. I don't ever use it at all, but this is a way to basically consolidate your calendar events with your reminders app. So you could drag it from the calendar over to the other app. Basically, yeah. Wow. You, like, you hold the event and then flick to Technology. exit out of the app, the calendar app, and then drag it over to the icon for your... Huh. Um, now, Star, you did say that you have all these apps that you don't know what they do or don't want. Do you want me to help you get rid of them? Uh, I have tried to get rid of them already, but I think they're part of the phone. So some of them are defaulted to the phone and you can't get rid of. But what you can do is put them all in one folder that you just ignore for the rest of your life. A folder. I always dreamed about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah do you know how to Let's make a folder do that no so take one app that you don't want and hold mm. down on it until it starts shaking uh no okay they're all shaking no. great now you can drag the apps around and reorder oh. them how you want and what you're gonna do is okay. you're gonna take one that you don't want and you are going to drag it directly on top of another one that you don't want. Oh, okay, let me see. <laughs> uh, clips and freeform. Okay. Freeform uh -huh. you can erase. You don't have to keep freeform. Well, you downloaded I that. I didn't download that. Yeah, huh? it doesn't come with the phone. It's a TV channel. Anyways. <laughs> that would be an amazing update for my phone. They're like, uh, everyone has to watch what the former abc family yeah you have it's to watch an abc all of family app original content 
Hi. Um. Anyway, so you just made a folder between these two apps that you don't want. <laughs> yeah. Like. Uh. That. You can hit. You can hit the X up there. Uh. Where it says photo and video, because it's trying to like. It's trying to auto generate a reason why you might be putting them together. Oh. Uh. There's no could... X. There was just a second ago. It disappeared. Um. Click on photo and video. Just click on the words photo and video. Oh. It disappeared. Oh, the X. Okay, I know it. I know what happened. Please hold. Okay. <laughs> uh, how about GarageBand and Pages? You don't like GarageBand? Okay, we're not here for it. judgment, Amber. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Mom, you could have been making yeah. some cool rocking tunes this whole time. You're not even using your GarageBand app. Um, but basically, what I'm trying to get you to do is one, you can rename the folder. So instead of photo and video, you could call it unwanted apps or bullshit or, you know, whatever you want it to be and yeah. group them together. And you then should you name can... it my favorite apps. My favorite apps. And then you can drag every single app that you don't want to use into that one folder and that it only uh -huh. takes up one space on your entire screen. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. You got it. Yeah. I feel like I could have taught you this a long time ago, Mom. Oh, whoa. But, but who she, did You know what Amber her. tells me. <laughs> but who did teach her? Michael taught it. What yeah. Amber does is uh, just do yourself. No. That's her answer. Yeah. That's not, uh, no, uh I always say, well, oh, I don't know. Can, I don't know I'm how like to... really busy or something. I don't know. If she asks a question that is like, so obscure and like i have to i have to create i have to do a, a whole hour podcast with her just to help her to be able to understand this concept it's like uh, i don't even know where to start teaching you <laughs> this thing that is going to take forever to teach it to you has has this been as dreadful as you feared it would be no you feel like you're getting some 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 yes. knowledge dropped on you are you yes. happy to have an iphone now no, Why? I, it doesn't have the pen. I need this pen. Okay. You literally have the pen. Where? Why do you yeah. have it if it if you don't have it? Look, this is for my Samsung. Look, you have a pen. It's your finger, okay? <laughs> you were born with 10 perfectly good pens you, you need that you a, can use to navigate your iPhone. You have to go and buy one that works for iPhone. Uh, I actually think the Apple Pen is only for iPad. Uh, I don't think it works on the phone. I could be wrong about that, but I well, you could, because you could sometimes look online my fingers are too chubby, and when I try to like re-edit something and move the little blue line so that I can actually yeah. edit, it's just not going where it's supposed to go because my fingers too fat. Yeah, I mean. It, it not it's delicate and as far as like getting the cursor perfect it's it's annoying cursor, yes. it, it's it's a thing that we all struggle with cursor. i don't think it has anything to do with the girth of your fingers or anything like that so all right well, well i want to i want to leave us with some um some last thoughts about phones everybody share your favorite memory of a phone uh, I don't know if you want this. <gasps> oh, I don't know if I want this either. <laughs> is it X-rated or what is it? No, it's not X-rated, but it's gross. All right, just tell us. I was a junior in high school. <laughs> and I mean, still to this day, when you're using the bathroom, oh, oftentimes no. you pass time on your phone. What? Now, Oh, you not? Thought, no, Do you not you browse were, your phone? I thought you were like saying like pass gas and then <laughs> yeah, I fart on my phone. No, pass time. You know, you browse I'm like not the Reddit sort of thing everybody does. But... You catch up on text messages or whatever. Yeah, but phones haven't always been this big. Uh, sometimes, you know, or you know, back in the past, fifteen years ago. They were kind of slender little things. So if you drop it, they can fit into, you know, tight spaces. And if you're on the toilet, 
So you pooped on your phone? Well, and that was your favorite I, memory. <laughs> I, I, it's the most distinct memory. You didn't? Did you say favorite? I don't. I, I retracted from the record that the word favorite was spoken. It may have been, but I just heard most memorable moment. Oh, um, maybe I and it threaded. That. I didn't poop on my phone. I I phoned on my poop. I phoned on my poop. The poop was already in there. Then the, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then thinking that water would help like rinse it uh, i definitely <gasps> oh, flushed no. i didn't lose the phone it didn't like go down it was too big to go through but uh i was trying to like rinse it and like clean the phone was gone ap- after that point like not like down the pipes but just unusable um mm. and uh yeah i don't know that sticks with you that's a <laughs> that's, that's a that's a beautiful memory thank you for sharing your no favorite. it's not <laughs> don't don't lie <laughs> don't try and tolerate it and all put right, a spin right. on it. It was well, disgusting and I hate it? that it happened. <laughs> but it stuck with me. My favorite memory, well, it has to be like Samsung because again, <laughs> it catches spirits. I oh. don't really catch spirits like Samsung does. Samsung has a better photo quality video quality blah 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 quality mm. for spans i for feel spirits. like you're oh, okay so i have caught so like, really so many samsung spirits. has a bunch of circles uh and and light shapes all over the place no and... i have caught mm. okay I, there was a video on my camera phone when i had the camera phone and then the next morning I was rewinding and watching that video and I could cut and slow down frame by frame by frame this anomaly that came out of the air that was underneath the air conditioning unit, a pink smoky anomaly. And I was like, that's weird. So I slowed the video down and then took pictures of each of those frames and whatever's and out came a face a old man with glasses a handlebar mustache and a, like a old ball like old bald hair there like bald headed hair side mm. man comb and it was so 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 cool and um <laughs> there was also videos of little orbs in the video where i could see them going into nicholas's room Loss's room and and I slowed that down and you could actually see that it was a spirit a light anomaly was going into his room and there. I slowed that down and you could see that the ball was going boop, 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 and made a right turn made Ooh. a right turn all yeah. on the same phone all on the same phone the same wow. night so what until this explanation Every time you said that the phone captures spirits, I didn't realize that you meant it like picks them up in photo and video. I thought you meant it steals it from the user. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, because, you know, she's I, I a think ghostbuster. It's like, yeah. It's just like all these people just like you hear the phrase, oh, they're sucked into their phone. And I thought we were like talking literally like. Oh, yeah. No, my mom is too mystical for it to be like that. It had yeah. to be about ghosts. Courtney replied. Uh oh. Okay. And now for our favorite segment on the show a, a question, question from, from Courtney. Courtney. Yeah. <laughs> So okay. this is a question from her friend Courtney. This is a segment that I forgot to tell you about, Michael, but her friend Great. Courtney is going to a- ask you a question. She says, unfortunately, I have a Samsung, but my question is, why does it know my every move and search? Even without being on my phone, it knows everything. Hmm. When you say and search, like, are we talking search history? Like, is she watching saucy videos that she wish wouldn't come up yes because you can delete you can delete your history and like at least on iphone uh you don't even have to delete your whole history like you know if you've been looking at some uh x-rated content recently but you don't want to lose your like wordle streak 
you can just delete your history from the last hour or the last like yeah it doesn't have to be like all time or anything like that but um, also the government the oh, government oh. wants to know everything about you also these apps have like it'll ask Cookies. for permission to use your microphone and it's like well why why does amazon Ooh. need to know my microphone and it's because, like, you know how, like, Alexa is always listening because it's obviously needing to hear when you talk to it. The phones are, at least if you opt in in certain ways, doing the same thing. So, like, I've had it where I was talking about a board game with a friend, and the next time I got on Amazon, it suggested that. I didn't even search it anywhere. Yeah. I had just Ooh. spoken it aloud to a friend, and it was like, do you want this game? And I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you guys always play games. That was so fun uh, when I... Used to Back hang out day. with you guys, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Game Boys. Game Boys. TM. <laughs> That's an original. You came up with it just now. <laughs> well, Michael, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, we of had a blast. First, my mom was very mad about this episode, but I think in the end we had a very good time. Yeah, it was good. Thank you for coming. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thanks gentle. for taking up the task the, yeah, this was a task and and i'm i'm glad you uh you you taught my mom a thing or two it's not my first rodeo my, i mean my mom the inventor of copy paste has needed some tech help from me <laughs> in that in the past so uh, and now she's a professional i thank uh, her for yeah. her service yeah. to humanity my mom throws out computers because she's like yeah i messed it up time to start over i'm just like <laughs> Okay, mom. Just How get an come, antivirus. I hope all the moms of the world listen to this episode, and um, I hope they enjoy. And thank you for your service to humanity. Okay, <laughs> you're, you're welcome. That wasn't forced at all. How do we find you, and what do you, what do you got going on? So I am the host of a podcast called Fine Dining: The Search for the Most Mediocre Restaurant in America. I'm going to places like Chili's, Applebee's, Denny's, stuff like that, and just being silly along the way. They're all mid-tier. I'm trying to find out which one is the middest. Yeah. Um, but I have a lot of fun with it. Like I made an I made a seven song musical out of my visit to Olive Garden. Uh, there's like <laughs> oh, little skits and like good. stuff like that along the way. So yeah, check it out if you if you've enjoyed me in this podcast and want more of my style of comedy. Go check out Fine Dining, check the search for the most mediocre money. restaurant in America. And then how do we uh, find you online? So finddiningpodcast.com, uh, at Fine Dining Podcast on Instagram and TikTok. I'm anywhere podcasts are, so Fine Dining, that's fine in quotes, because it's Fine yeah. Dining, uh, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. So, All right. yeah. We'll find you. Great. Thanks for having me. It was yeah. fun. Hope you all learned a thing or two. I am... Not an expert, but uh, <laughs> I, I am a. You were perfect. You were great. the perfect amount of expertise. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Bye. I'll have a good one. Bye. All right, Hello. mom. Hi. Hello. So, what was your favorite thing you learned? I learned how to do frog voice. Mm hmm. And that had nothing to do with phones. <laughs> <laughs> i'm so that made me laugh so hard yeah okay we need to have a show i think like your friend what's her name um becca needs to come back and do a haunted show at her place see if she can find some spirits in there mm -hmm. well of course she needs to like go find them first I edited out a big chunk of that whole ghost talk in that episode. Yeah, where she was. I remember. Um, yeah, because it was it was already very long. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyways, thanks everybody for listening to this episode. Um, we don't know who our next guest is yet, but I'm sure it will be very cool. And until then. Have a good day. This is the outro. This is the, this is the jingle. Have a good life. Have a good mind. Probe. Yeah.
All right, bye. Bye.